What's up, people from the internet? We're back for another reaction. You know, football season is coming back. I've been waiting, bro. Goodness, I don't bro. know about you guys, but I've been personally waiting so fucking long. The season ended really badly for me because I'm a Niner fan. Nonetheless, we're excited for next season. I know you're not, because he's a Raider fan. We're, <laughs> we're winning over two playoff games, watch. How the fuck y'all ain't right bro. bro? No, you guys are not. Bro, when we go, when we if you're lucky, you'll even make it. We'll get that shit when we're in the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> you're gonna come back to this clip and you'll be like, damn, Jill was right. Hey, if I'm proven wrong, get this shit. But I'm not, because the Raiders aren't going nowhere. But anyways, in light of the fact that football season is on its way and it's almost here, we're gonna react to the 20 worst plays in NFL history. Yeah, bro, I'm ready to see this fucking bullshit. Before we start, shout out to Field Flicks for the content we're reacting to. Keep it up, it's on the way and it's... What the fuck? Oh, oh. I see it. He booed it. Bruh. Happy These are the crazy. worst plays in NFL history. And first, a play so bad, it's an embarrassing NFL record. Of course, it's the dog. Tannehill in trouble. Tannehill. How the fuck did that even happen? Scooped up. Still free. Bouncing around. Washington's got it. Oh my god. 38 yards lost in that play. Holy. That's crazy. Yards. That was the most yards lost in a single play in NFL history. How the fuck is that even possible, bro? Tannehill. Ryan yeah, but Tannehill. the fact that it just kept rolling and rolling, bro. I can't talk shit because we had to deal with this bullshit from Garoppolo for like five years. So. I had to deal with Garoppolo for one year. <laughs> Thank Happy God year. that Garoppolo was a Raider just because he got McDaniel's fire like that. That shit was a blessing in the sky. Number 19 is honestly one of the worst kicks you'll ever see. Man, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, just gave up uh, yeah. Only a few inches? I heard that before. <laughs> ah, ah. Fucking floor play. Wait, I'm confused. If you kick it one, you're not allowed to boot it again, right? No, that's true. So he's just stuck there? That is one half a yard. <laughs> Yeah, he's That's terrible, bro. All trying to be all fancy and shit. If it's number 18, we're a bad play. Get the other team free points. Just pay attention to how stupid the Bills are here, man. It'll be Matt McGloin as their quarterback. Oh, no, they just let it go? No Yo, way. Bro, pick it you up. You need to grab it. Pick it up, man. What are you doing? <laughs> No way, bro. Cause he touched it, right? No, he didn't touch it. On the kick return, you have to grab it no matter what, or let it go out of bounds. If it's a punt, you can leave it. Oh, it's a kick return. The kick return, you have to fucking grab it or let it go out of bounds. So it's a touchdown. Bro, fucking folded. How do they not know the rules? How do we not know the rules? Oh my god. I knew the Instead rule. Some of the Bills were covering the ball yeah, and giving themselves possessions the like they were supposed to. He's a they all acted like they were on dial up connection for a sec. And then damn you let the other team get points for free. That's Nobody stupid. was celebrating that play. But in number 17, a player's touchdown celebration cost his worst Ooh. play ever. Deshaun Jackson got hyped for nothing. Because when the Eagles threw it all the way downfield to him. I mean, the play looked beautiful, I can't even lie. Because the shot made a huge mistake during <gasps> it. Just checking the replay at the one yard line. You know, what a fucking dude was idiot. Actually of course it's the shot Jackson. I remember the Raiders got him. The first play that we throw to him, he catches a good ass ball and he fucking like tries to spin move and be all like, you know, handy dandy or whatever. And he fumbled. He got a great catch and fumbled his first fucking time. He really threw the ball backwards because he thought he already scored and the play was over. Mans was edging to celebrate that badly. His opponents saw that so they challenged the call and the touchdown was overturned dude really celebrated a play that didn't even count all because he couldn't wait one more yard idiot but at least nobody was eating anything on that play at number 16 a player's worst play happened because he accidentally <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? why is Tom Ray sniffing some ball dude? he's like that's probably how he got all his ring uh, there's no way that play smelled now. good, tasted good, know. or even Sanchez. looked good. That's really what face first through his own teammates at. <laughs> Fumbled the ball and gave up a touchdown. But at number 15, a team's decision was so bad, it got him clawed by- I bet not to hear nobody talk about we them boys. Cause y'all got them boys, and y'all don't make no noise. Some of the most legendary players in Broncos history, Shannon Sharp and Peyton Manning, were watching their team's game live. And with around a minute left, not only were the Broncos only down by a point, they had all three of their timeouts left, which easily would allow them plenty of plays to win the game. Until they made some of the dumbest decisions ever. Quick play, Headman's get down with about a minute left. 
And yeah, he should have ran out of bounds, but like I said, they have all of their timeouts. They realize this, right? We got three timeouts here. I might use one right here, Reese. Let's use one. Let's talk about this one. Well, you don't want to waste that much time, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> A few hey, man, moments like, later. Bro. Well, they did. 40 seconds later. 40. That's rough. <laughs> they wasted like four plays, dude. You can't help the Broncos, bro. The Broncos have been so bad. I know we're bad, but like the Broncos have been bad, dude, for a minute. <sighs> they won once and then once this fool retired. What's paying Manny that? Yeah, it was over. TV was calling timeout after timeout before anybody actually on the field realized. Well, they've got three timeouts. Yeah. You think they want to Now, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm sure this was all for a good reason. They have to have some sort of trick play coming up, right? Ah, <sighs> man. Well, they decided to line up for one of the longest field goals in NFL history. A kick that was only made twice ever, even though they didn't need to. And what do you know? They missed it and lost the game. Ridiculous, man. But at number 14, Great coach. they got emotional after his worst play. Champagne ruined his team's win, entire bro. season. <laughs> he should have stayed in the high school The coach. Colts had to win this game. Otherwise, as you can shoot. see, their season would be over. No, so with the game coming down to the final minutes, well, the needing to get downfield the score, and what could be their last possession of the this game, the they only needed yes, a single yard for a first down ball. to keep their chances oh, of that no, happening a lot. And well... Yeah, let's just see who goes to play. It's a hand and a throw by Goodson. Texans make the stop. Hey, so they, they could have beat Stroud out of there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dude was wide open for the easiest catch of his wow. life. He really dropped Bro the ball folding. on that one. Ha! All jokes aside, of imagine course, making he was millions stunned. of dollars. The fans were in disbelief. And afterwards, not only did he tell reporters that he just wanted to talk to his parents, saying, they're probably the only people loving me right now, he got emotional talking about his mistake. Uh, I worked too hard to, you know, just drop the ball like that. Man. I gotta accept that I'm a champion, that's okay. Shut the fuck up, boom. No, bro, I feel <laughs> bad after that pain. Go applaud McDonald. No, bro, he deserves to be man. Not after that That shit. sucks, bro. No, Imagine joking, all yeah. you're shooting for is like, you know, the Super Bowl. You're like so, so close. close to go to playoff. After that, it's free game, right? Yeah, who knows how far the Colts would have gone. Because playoffs, yeah. you could be the shittiest team on the playoffs. Like them, for example, they had like one of the lowest records. Playoffs is free game, bro. It's anyone's game. Just what was the reaction from the team? What, what were you feeling at that moment? Honestly, I was just feeling like a failure. Now, all right. Even though Mance was tearing up, there was still a bright side of the entire situation. At least he didn't make the worst play in Colts history. That was at number 13, where a player's throw the got him caught by the entire throw. world. Kinda go, like the chicken. Oh, I thought that was a the What a throw. <laughs> what are you trying to do, bro? There's a minute left. Okay, man. That had to be one of the are worst throws in NFL history. Like, I could have did better than that. Oh, wait. A mess. Anyways, instead of just throwing the ball away, dude really tried to pass with his opposite hand and threw the entire game away. His opponents got the easiest touchdowns of their careers with that interception to win. But the real ops were the fans on Twitter saying crazy things about him. They said that was one of the worst things they've seen a quarterback do. Wentz lost his mind. Another fan said it was the single worst interception he's ever seen. And one person even posted a meme saying this was what Wentz was thinking. I don't know. I, I was so in the moment. But quarterbacks don't only make bad that plays throwing the ball. At number yeah. 12, Tom Brady created the worst plays good, of his like career when he switched Please. positions twice. The Please man might kicker? be a goat at quarterback. His form even looked decent when he tried to become a kicker. But lining up as a receiver is something I'm honestly surprised he didn't learn his lesson from the first time. And he he's gonna throw it to Brady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, he tripped the guy. <laughs> Vance really yeah, thought he was onto something, then he embarrassed himself. Yeah. At least that bad play was only in the regular season. He was so scared there was a time he tried to trick everyone in the biggest game of the year at the Super Bowl, then did this. Yeah, I remember him. He had the perfect fucking throw. That was literally the perfect throw. After failing once athletic, bro, again, I think he realized he should just stick to throwing the ball and kissing his son. He had it the last blink hit that in there is gas. Yeah, is gas. You should just stick to throwing the ball and kissing his son. Now that's Yo, you're what's even weirder that, is number 11, where a player's worst play only happened because of insane weather. 
It went down in Chicago, aka the Windy City. And not only were the flags in the stadium blowing around like crazy, the wind was so bad that players couldn't even practice throwing or even snapping the ball. Fuck. Now, I'm not a weatherman, but even I could have told the Bears that there should be no field goals in the forecast. Ooh, that joke sucked. Uh, okay, dude. Regardless, during the game, they went for it. And the kick is up, it's on the way, and it's... What? Damn. Damn. No <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't even care if the wind made a curve like that. The kick was so bad, it sent a fan home with a souvenir. Now, all right. Don't get me wrong, the plays we've seen so far have been pretty bad. But now that we're getting into the top 10 worst plays ever, these yeah, plays are on a whole new level of ass. Like the time crazy. one of the worst plays in NFL history actually made someone $20 million. Super Bowl 48 what? was already supposed to be special. 20 mil? A legendary businessman Mark Cuban wanted to up the stakes. Literally. He decided to risk a million dollars on what I thought was one of the dumbest bets I've ever heard. Something I don't even think happened in a game ever. The bet was for the first play of the game, turning into a safety. There's no f***ing way that was he gonna happen. He bet a million right? on that? The rich is getting richer. Bro, <laughs> first off, the fact that you're betting a million on something so stupid is insane. But That's it's more know, insane that it worked. That motherfucker's got so much luck, it's not oh. even funny. But when I do it, all of the <laughs> bro, those $20 that you put, bro. I literally lost 25 bucks this fucking Super Bowl. Bro, oh, price pick, bro. Price pick robbed me. Do you know where I lost my money? I bet <laughs> on the Raiders twice. I won twice. And then the one time that I bet, it was the Ryan Garcia versus Tank David. Don't ask why I voted Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I lost it all. Yeah. <laughs> it's snapped over the head. Wait, That's crazy. How the hell did that even happen, man? That. There's no way nah, he had a fucking the first play. Probably told those, the center, those, those hey, just years. Chucky, I'll throw you a mill right now. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Because if the bro. odds was, it wasn't even he was going to double It is his Mark money. Cuban, bro. He got power. Exactly. But it wasn't even like, oh, that million's going to double. It was like, that million's going to 20x. Bro. Yeah, he got 20 million, huh? Yeah, so that he could give bad. hella. Obviously, the crowd was hype, but nobody on the planet was more excited than Mark Cuban when he tweeted, I had safety on the first play, $20 million baby hashtag unbelievable but something else nah, unbelievable is number nine where one to. legend's worst play was so bad it cursed him see the curse started tony in tony Romo. romo's first playoff game ever with a little over a minute left he carried his team downfield and put him in position for an easy field goal to potentially take the lead mans didn't even want to risk anything in this situation either like he made sure he'd be the one holding the ball for the kick that would happen but that was a big mistake why the fuck would they want to hit him with these snaps? I don't know. <laughs> really fucking idiot. Was that a oh, goal? That was a playoff. Touchdown, only to get obliterated you ever in front of everybody. Like that, in that right there kept the Cowboys down by one, Aww, and of course man, lost fumbled. them the game they should have easily won. And I could tell Romo never got over this, because for the rest of his career, the dude was never the same star player. He never made it deep into the playoffs again. And honestly, I think that one mistake didn't only affect him, but the entire Cowboys organization. They literally get smacked so bad, there's no way they aren't cursed. Like, it kind of reminds me of number eight. They made such horrible plays in back-to-back -back playoff oh, games. They got their the entire right fan now. base turned into memes. That's for yeah, the first round of the 2021 playoffs yeah, where, yeah, oddly enough, good. Tony Romo was one of the like announcers during the game. When the Cowboys needed a miracle, they instead just created the first of their worst plays ever. The game's over. So they keep the you need someone, San Francisco, to get Low key, the ref fucked the mess. Scott takes off running the football. Whoa, I don't think this is going to work out. Yeah, well, they'll be on the clock this day. The ref fucked it, boy. He, like, got in his way. Oh and he God. moved the ball and everything. The official gets in the way. The game's over. Yeah. The game is over. That's the end of the game. We all got hella lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously they had to score, but like, advances. you never know Instead what that doing something to shot. stop the clock, Dak ran it all the way downfield and ended up losing his team the game. Now, I was thinking they learned their lesson on how to manage the clock I mean, for the next the time a game ever came down to the end, but yeah, yeah, boy was I wrong. The end ran. of a playoff game yeah. the next year lined up for the exact same scenario Bro, this was one more drive to win, and the Cowboys did even dumber things. First, they completed a pass and dude ran out of in an illegal way, so the clock kept rolling. 
Then a few plays later, he caught another he pass and didn't even put his feet in bounds when he had plenty of room to what do it. Dumb, Just look man. at this. How did he get to step <laughs> oh, inside the line? But the dumbest That's of the so plays cowardly. came right after this, where with only a few seconds left and needing to make sure they either score or at least stop the clock. Once I saw the way they all lined up for the play, <laughs> I already knew this was going to be stupid. I remember this shit live, bro. Why would you even do that? Like Ezekiel Elliott just got his ran through. Uh, that was what they drew up in that situation? A six yard pass, even though they were like 75 yards away from scoring? Just like that, the game was over. <laughs> Once again, crazy. the Cowboys let all their fans down so badly, not only were they tearing up, they got turned into memes on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> but at number seven, a player's worst play ruined one of the best plays in NFL history. The best play was about to unfold when the Saints were down seven points with only a few seconds left. What started off as a catch ended up in lateral, after lateral, after lateral, until eventually they ended up scoring one of the biggest miracles of a touchdown I'd ever seen. But I'm sure you understand a touchdown is only worth six points. Now the Saints were only down one with what is one of the easiest kicks in football to make, an extra point, until. Still alive, pending the extra point by John Carney. And he no! Dude, really missed that? <sighs> Put that man's on suicide watch, bro. Imagine That's all his crazy. teammates, bro, when they're just watching that fool in the locker room. You know that fool walked in the locker room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with his head down like that one meme with he the didn't even make it. That was it, bro. At least that was just a normal game. At number six, I literally broke my TV in when I saw a player's worst play cost my daddy, I mean, Mahomes, a championship. It was just one game before the Super Bowl, during an AFC championship matchup between the Chiefs and Patriots, where everything was coming down to the end. Just look at the score. Oh, Chiefs up right four. Here. All they had to do was get a stop to win the game. First and as second. Brady pulled back to throw, the ball was tipped up for an interception. So at Wait, first no, I was like, hey! Wasn't? But when I saw the yellow notification that a that flag season? was thrown, I couldn't nah, believe my like, eyes. Okay. The refs called offsides on the Chiefs, that? and just peeping the replays, it showed that the player was clearly lined up over the line. It was just like everyone that, in the stadium, the stunned. Even the player himself couldn't believe it. So the interception didn't count, gave the Patriots another chance, and Brady did what he does better than anybody in history, led them through a game-winning drive. But at number five, some of the worst plays I've ever seen came from players who had butterfingers. Ryan airs it out all alone, juggled, incomplete, jumped wide open. He's such a good receiver, too. Stafford downfield, and his pass is... What the f honestly that's game. one thing that I hate bro when corners don't do shit and they go <laughs> Yeah, like, bro, you got cooked dog. The guy will miss blatantly. He's like He's talking shit like look at this guy. Look at this shit. He's like <laughs> What the fuck dude? You didn't do shit. You fucking got cooked bro Let's see ready to Oh, I remember this one Oh my goodness, you never see him do that. Montgomery taking the snap, Trubisky launching it. Trubisky, bro. Trubisky got picked over. That's perfect. He's wide open by himself. It's right there. He's got no one. I mean, the defenders on the ground. You see Williams there. Five down. Field wide open. No. <laughs> no. No. I would probably do the same thing. Uh, yeah, I would have been like, <laughs> yeah, and then no, right, as bad as all those drops were, thankfully there was nobody to blame besides themselves. But at number four, a player literally blamed his worst play on God. God's play? That's crazy. He's probably dead. He's got Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, and what would have won his squad the game? He drops what would have been the greatest play of his career. And the craziest part about this is dude literally hopped on Twitter after the game and blamed God. Now, saying all that had a corny dude pretty upset. Now normally when someone blows a wide open right in the numbers muffin like that, a simple explanation, human error. Turns out not this time. You see, Johnson paid his Twitter feed to figure the real culprit, God. Tweeting 24-7 <laughs> 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 
That this how you do me? That is how I do me. That's so crazy, bro. I'll never That's how you know you're entitled like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro blames his own issues bitch, on God, is God bro. But, hey, speaking of gods, at number three, a dude's worst There's play came when he tried to become the next Tom teams. Brady. Which is pretty ironic, because it wasn't even the quarterback's fault. Oh, dude handed that. the ball off, it's and with zero hey, seconds Jacoby's left, a real this dude one. He's running all the way now. downfield had me thinking there weren't many options that could happen. To, uh, as he led her to his teammate, this, this dude shit. did the dumbest the thing he could game. think of. Stanford Band, no Chandler Jones, Stiff Hall, oh, Mac Jones, hello. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Jones on Jones action. I remember that. Dude could have literally made any other decision, and it would have been better than what he did. That Patriots jersey on him must have made him think he was Brady or something. But sometimes the Patriots are on the opposite end of bad plays. Cause at number two, it's the worst play in Super Bowl history. Everyone Seahawks knows rushed player, the ball bro. and got tackled in a prime position to win the game. Cause being down just four points with an entire minute left to literally move and one you more have the yard best and having the NFL's league. best running back at the time, Marshawn Lynch, ready, everyone on the planet thought he was about to get the ball until a horrible call ruined everything. Play clock at five. Pass is what a song. That shit hurt me. I remember watching that live. To this day, and I was they tried throwing the, the ball reason. a yard when all they had to do was run it in. They deserved to get picked off. Nobody in the entire stadium could believe what just happened. Because with one throw, me. the Seahawks literally threw the entire Super Bowl away and lost the game. They had the easiest opportunity to win. This was such a right bad there. play. I'm not kidding. It had fans going yeah, head first careful. through their TVs. He folded that. Do not throw a pass at the goal line when you have Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> See the reaction, Sherm, Earl, Bruce, you know what I mean, the D line. Oh, when they lost you. You see the reaction from everybody, and then as I'm going back to the sideline, uh, you know, <laughs> I go by Russ, and I just hear him like, oh man, like, I'll get him next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. And as, I'm he as I hear the shit, and I go right to Pete Curl face, and I'm talking about, I hit his ass with the bigger. <laughs> you laughed in his face? <laughs> Number one. A play that was so bad, fans wanted a player killed. The Vikings were up against one of the best teams in the NFL, the Eagles, so Vikings fans desperately wanted to see them win. Things started off with their star players making plays like this, but another player on the team, Alexander Madison, eventually made the situation turn deadly. He began having a horrible game with plays like this. From the 35 yard line. And Madison takes over for Dalvin Cook, and again, the ball is out. And that fumble already had Vikings fans pissed off on Twitter saying nobody blows games like the Vikings. Jeez, fumbles? No awareness? Everything. And not long after, Alexander started making the situation even worse by getting the ball where he was tackled for negative yards. He even caught a pass and lost even more yards. It definitely didn't help that after all of that, the Vikings eventually lost in a close game, so fans blamed Alexander for everything. They hopped in his DM saying some of the most out-of-pocket things I've ever seen, asking if he knew how to hold a gun and pull the trigger because he clearly couldn't hold on to a football. Some were telling him to switch careers, like when one said, learn how to hold on to the ball. You get paid millions and can't do shit. Start selling cars or some shit. If you decide that's not for you, Honestly, some of the DMs got so deadly and so racist that if I even showed you what they said, my channel would get terminated. An NFL player getting that many death threats was obviously gonna make headlines. I don't know what was the last thing you guys saw because our fucking camera just stopped recording. So whatever last year you guys just saw, that was the end of it. Anyways, this was us reacting to the 20 worst plays in NFL history. Let us know in the comments down below which one you guys think was the worst play in this compilation. This was small reality. No kiss. No, no kisses. That's <laughs> not gay. That's not gay. Yes, it is. How much you love your homie? That's it. <laughs> <laughs>